in this exercise, we're working with some relative and absolute layout and a bunch of, bunch of jQuery um, animations. So this recreates an exercise that I used to do in Flash. And since Flash isn't really being used for web pages anymore, well, I missed it, and so I brought it back. So I've created this haunted house image with a bunch of images from Pixabay, and I've added interaction with them to them with jQuery. So you can click on anything if you hover your mouse over and it changes to a hand, you can do something. The pumpkin you can actually drag. Some will fade. Some of these do the same thing a different way. This one becomes opaque. And then Frankenstein runs across the bottom. I don't have you clicking on that guy so you can't do anything with him or the house. So, and you can click on things again if they stay on the stage. So that worked okay. It lost one and I'm not sure why because in Chrome, I didn't get my moon to show up in the sky. When I'm in Firefox, my moon shows up in the moon. You can resize. So that's an additional effect that only works in Firefox. It doesn't even appear in Chrome. But you get to have some fun with the various jQuery X elements. So let's look at the page source. Had to get outside of the div with everything in it. I'm going to minimize this one. So the page is really simple. Um, I've imported both jQuery and jQuery UI. You'll have to Google that to find the CDN for jQuery UI. I got it with the same place I got the Google one. You go out to the um, Google CDN and then the jQuery UI gives me a couple of special effects. Then I just put my all of my images on my stage in the main class. Now the CSS is interesting and important. So I start, constraint is from my main class, width, height, position, absolute. So my container is absolutely positioned, and my images inside it are positioned relatively. I have all my images set up as display bot. I'm not sure that's doing anything here, but it gives you some additional options if you wanted to center it. Um, I have my house. You'll notice that all of these have a display none. And that's because when you begin this, if I refresh it, watch, the whole thing fades in. They all fade in together. So everything started at a display, none, so that they can fade in together. And then each item in here has a position of absolute, a left and a top position, or sometimes I'm using it from the bottom. And if I wanted you to be able to interact with it, I change the, con the cursor to a pointer. So I have CSS on each one of those. And then the important part is to look at our script. And so I've brought in jQuery, which goes outside the document.ready function. So Jack, my Jack Lantern, is draggable. My moon is resizable. Those are my two jQuery UI functions. And then everybody's fading in over three seconds. And then each one of these has various animate, hide, fade out, and animate. So I'm doing different animations on each one to create my haunted house. It looks simple. It took a while to get everything to work, but it was fun, so it was worth it.